International. A tournament summoning the finest Dota teams from across the globe. Since its creation, much has changed. The crowds have grown from modest gatherings to a roaring sea of fans. The tools have expanded from a humble selection of heroes to over 100 potential gladiators. And with the help of the Dota community, each year the stakes have risen. Again and again, becoming the largest prize pool in eSports history. Once more, the time has come. From across the world, they have gathered. They have prepared. They are the best of the best. Some are veterans, warriors and victors of tournaments past. And others, ambitious newcomers, ready to prove themselves against revered champions. The eyes of the world now turn to Key Arena, eager to witness history firsthand, hungry to watch the war unfold. Who will emerge victorious? Victorious, the battle begins. And the bottom lane, KPM Febby coming Dyer's in with the wraparound here. Moon, He's is he going to be able to find himself out of this one? Kinetic Field has been chopped down. KP trying to go in, but the battery assault doing quite a bit. Now with the cops, KP getting low. He could actually be in trouble. He needs to run away. There is a rocket flare available in a couple of seconds. It's only level one, though. I don't think it's going to be enough. He's going to try and tell oh, the, the rocket flare. Oh, KP's incredibly low. Febby as well, sitting on seven oh, HP. No, Moon, he's got it. Guess what? He gets oh, two. Double kill for Mubia, then what the hell? Oh, oh misery, he's oh. found how. Super, he's trying to jump this one. There goes the hook shot all the way in. Ice 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 goes to the back, but is gonna let loose that ultimate. But they've already taken down Notel with all. Oh, oh my goodness, what a big combination of plays. Bone 7 and Turtle Envy almost single handedly take out all of EG Gaming. I, I, you just give up this Roche, right? I, I don't. Lena's respawning very soon. No bane, I, though. No bane. Yeah, I feel like you're also just not. Lena's not going to get here in time. Maybe MP down, goes so. for the big steal. That is so risky, though. Does he want to make the big plays? He's dropped his item. MP's thinking about it. They've got Sigil Vision. And he jumps. He's, He's got it! The agent! <laughs> MP! You player! Unbelievable! And then they snowball in. And they're looking for more. They've got BG Gaming where they want him. Fighting in the pit. They've got a second life here as well. They're doing work. Everybody grouped up for him. Pummeling BG Gaming. They just won't stop. They bring down Hal. It's more dead. That's a dive angle. The gyro, it's a team wipe and ultra for Forev and MVP Hot Six just laid out BG Gaming. And now, stack that evasion. They managed to do an offensive force staff in, but there is a snowball save. They need a lethal for Lana, but their Lotus Orb is there, plus the Winter's Curse. Sun is locked down and takes a good amount of damage from the wards trapping in. And that now they're cool. getting a huge black cannon shot with the aftershock on top of that. Yoki just destroys E Home. Straight away with the charge on Sophoni. He wants to start a fight. Let's see if he comes out top of this one. He's got an Ender Strike. He's got the back of a swimmer and flying a horse. Turning up, trying to do what he can. Put it with a life deal. Actually, able to keep himself alive. They have lost an echo, but on the side, on complexity, they've lost one. But the wall! Oh! The vacuum and the Requiem blowing up Na'Vi. Four heroes down. It's going to be the third team wipe of the game as Art Style falls as well. Tree line, they're jumping in four star parts from Zyde. He can fleet back down again into a true two man call. And Roach has sword dead yet. There's your RP from Roach for the pickup. Rubik and he stole RP! Koro walking inside the pit. They still need more damage to win this fight. And here comes oh, his more. There's, there's the damage. They got him up on top of the hillside. They're TPing back to face Team Secret. The Cloud Nine, it is all done by Koro. You said watch him in the bird. He popped. Fader on the run out of here, but he is down as well for the count. And there's the next charge on Shiki. He's gonna pop his ulti. Lotus Orb coming down as well, and they're gonna have to disengage. Oh, they were gonna obviously slash that, but great use yeah. of the Lotus Orb. Indeed, now hook shot back in. Resolution isolated from the team. Takes a soul assumption. Sonic Wave connects on Silent. He gets an obvious Good slash. Oh, the damage on Sonic Wave. Oh, 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 no! Oh, oh, my. <laughs> Silent with the ultra kill. Oh, that quap ult from Aloha Dance and Silent. Oh, and he bashes him. Oh, he's just the ult. It does oh, that no matter what. But what a 
fight? Are they back into it? I think they might be. Shiki, he's gonna die definitely. Rampage! Rampage for oh Simon. my gosh. KP actually has to just go no, over this and go for it. Because even if you're wrong, okay, he's a little bit too late. But even if you're wrong, you have to always try to build it. Oh, no one blinks in. That was not the play. Blink forward and this oh, immediately take it out. Oh, what a great vacuum! It's the Winter Turns controlling everyone. MVP Phoenix got a great pickoff, but are now in serious trouble. It's now the Phantom Blitz at the back is able to clean through a couple more heroes. Four down. The fight's gonna get June wants to start the fight. Going in onto Aloha, Dance here, but getting the decays off. We're always much controlling June, and now they're just going. Oh, the RP here! Oh my god! The Sonic Minions Wave is a triple kill, catching them all! Yoku with the blaze there, Moon's gonna look for the TP out. Is he gonna be Minions able to get it? He will be the only one escaping. C9 almost dead. They're collapsing in, though. This he looks good. In. Oh, Richard. oh, Otto, what the indication? He kicked four. four on a coil. The call down is going to connect on four as well. Mech from Complexity, but it's not enough. Cloud9 finally finding the fight they've been looking for. Laguna Blade not going to be enough for the kill either. It's a full five for nil exchange here. This is, yeah, this is a very questionable fight for since the buyback has come out from the. Uh, the TA, she does have boss, maybe they could turn it around with this buyback. Winter's Curse, that's oh massive. God. That is infusion, now the refresh. Winter's Curse on the move, this is huge. June, he's gonna go down almost the bloodstone, he'll buy him some time for the Lena death, but he still dies. We're only trying to fight for it all, but now with the hook shot again, MP, FRF still alive, Rabbit and Banana in a lot of trouble. Banana, he's gonna go down, Rabbit the last one left alive for Newbie, triple kill for MP. I'm not sure if FY is really going to make use of that one. The tier two very rapidly going down as Cloud9. Here comes the first time last year. Jump in. Telekinesis are going to try and blow up on him right away. They are successful. Taking him out. And now VG Gaming perhaps just want to get out of this one. Ice Ice is already dead. They have a supernova on top. Looks like Cloud9 wants to go for the kill. Now on Misery. Managed to stun him up a little bit slow. Down the dagger is there as well. No tail. They actually managed to get a really good stun. FY jumping forward. He's so supernova. He's going to be able to pop that one. And Cloud9. They can't actually stop it. Misery is going to go down. He sleeps himself four steps away, trying to get to this death, really, but will not be able to get away from how. And now I why he is unbelievable. He's slowly down Eternal Envy for the rest of his team. They're going to get to Eternal Envy. No tail goes down first. E, he's dead as well. The ice punch over the top. FY, F God. Not gonna be oh, blind. this could be very dangerous. Eternal Emmy sees this one, Cloud9, they know. They just popped the board, so they're somewhere nearby. The mid shot is there, and now the Supernova is laid out. Super starts going for it. Ice 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 trying to get away from his cog, but he will go down. Misery Benji get the feed scrape on top. Super and Finbear get stunned up. How in the background, trying to deal with Bottom, but he can't do it. Eternal Emmy, oh, he's gonna get bursted down. They managed to get the Laguna Blade off on top of that one. Three down on the side of Cloud9. Finbear's gonna fall, even it up. Three for three. How and FY, they're gonna force spot a TP back. No, he actually can't pull it himself. He wants to try and go for both seven. But he lets it rip. FY once again being the commanding position in this team fight. And he wants some more. Him down. Yep. FY grabs the invisible. No! FY snagged it! He's gonna get out! Oh Fada! He wants the kill desperately, but he's done for! How gets the kill? And FY, the MVP of this match, and it's not even over yet. That flat cannon, your call down is almost always useful with the rocket barrage. Destroy support zone so seven. Gonna make the initiation here. Cloud nine desperately need to win this fight. Oh, no, what a vacuum! With the Fisher on top. Unbelievable display of coordination from VG Gaming. Quickly win the fight. Like, what's, what's the stock cap measure item on the Storm Spirit? Oh, complexity. They walk directly to burst from the Song of the Siren. Catching out four right now. FNG, that Sonic Wave from God's ready to go. They know where to start. They're looking for the stun timing. There's the Sonic Wave. The Nova's is about to hit the ground too with the Fiend from Control. Complexity, they're not going to find anything. His Swindle's actually put all of his mana. Fly dies a little bit lower, but it's Illidan with a triple kill. Secret are also moving. This is right before they get tracked, though. So even if they get kills, they won't have the bonus gold. But they may start the fight off onto Burning. He gets X. He won't be able to make the hook comes through. He gets it off. Now the turn. Oh, oh, the oh, three. They explode. They simply melt before the combo. Total. Okay. 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 I know there's only five heroes, man. You can. You two can math. <laughs> the hook finds one. It's onto Arteezy, but he's got an eclipse available. Doesn't want to blow it off the battle. BKB tries to fight this Lucid Beam, still holding the eclipse. He's thinking about it. He even started to cast it, but ends up not. Track coming in now. Are they going to go for the Requiem on the respawn? Is the timing right? Yes, it is. They get Arteezy. What a pick. The timing oh, for burning. Two. They're looking for more of the jump. This is, could be the big fight. Track going out the other way. The Death Lord's only the move. The back. The wall. The counter. 
difference for Secret. And now they on 430. Oh, Here's the gem. He's got the gem. Even if he Bloodstone denies, it's a gem down. Sigil comes in. Well, that's going to get take cleared up pretty early. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, back. They're looking for it. The kill on the Dazzle already in the back. He's got three men up on the hill. They can't get back down. Silas trapped him. Maybe trying to finish up for a shot. The Snowball comes in. They're all trapped by the Curse and El GPT. They're playing King of the Hill, but they are not the Kings. Garner's dropping the Nova. It's also going to try and do his burn up. And they're actually wide fighting this one. Maybe it's winning Sila. However, trapped in the wall. He is hitting himself to death right now on the hill. Down he goes. Maybe looking for an opening on Wyvern, but then he's actually been raised himself up. There's there. He lands up. The Ego Simon will trigger aggressive. Does he have enough to finish this job? Back to the world of the living, maybe. Looking for the kill on Wyvern. Can't do it. An aggressive. The answer is yes. Shadow dropping quickly and down for the count. What a back by the Darkseer. So hope they be able to get close enough for the light striker right they're actually still close enough for a cold arrows maybe after g can't land this one he's going to turn around with the double ion shell go straight for lil he's going to be able to pick up the kill unbelievable play by side and he's getting out he helps push it up trying to dodge turns around goes again the mfg almost there gets the kill two for one by zai what kind of monster are you zai well they want to find samael here it'll be a massive kill if they can they're trying to move forward here shiki with the blink but samael just too damn tanky and oh oh where's the where's the tanky we need to get a universe to get yourself in it, so there we go with the up and down in the front row. But the snowball dodge, they don't go huge about it, and they turn it round. They get the kill to surveil. Beautiful play there by Exley with the snowball. They might find more. Chasing down Howie. The shallow grave there from PBD's. Look at the TP. Can they cancel it? No, they can't. Howie will get out. They might be able to find PBD here. The eye shots won't catch it, but Shiki with the slow. No, the soul is looking for the first team. out in the snowball as well. Fear gets the talent. They call Shiki in a bit of trouble. He needs to get himself up, but he's got the Aegis. He's A-OK. -okay. They might even be able to find Fear here as well. And Tina's going to come straight back into the game. Shiki's going to look at it with the slow for the trap. The stun is one for the familiars. And Snow will be thrown out to Shiki, but EG, they've got three heroes down. And Missive coming in. Moving it off there. They're going to continue to do it. CD. They fight fair as well! None of the heroes on EG have buyback of... And Super continues to stand in front. Creeps doing the work, but the LGD heroes can't on the other lane. They catch on Super again, trying to really force this BKB, but no one's cooperating. Now the decay, out goes the tubes on Vici, just want to back and wait this one out. Ice 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 goes in, looking for the cops, he doesn't pop them in time. He's surrounded by many. They get off a beautiful static lane, called out there. Crop one over the top, get Epson too. Silar Chow holding their ground for now as FMY has stolen the hook. He goes back in, but it's too late as FMY's already gotten off. The FB hasn't finished off anyone yet though. Only these backline heroes, maybe stands and he looks to turn this has the chains available but not the vision he needs every bit on Vici getting low for the queen of pain who is the healthy one that goes in first maybe silence can they catch him out this will be a huge takedown he's kept alive glimmered back healed up survived and now jumps double around in a way but it's how getting the kill and maybe it's Silar, the ones on the run how wants to go for it he got him again the pick this might cause him he's up high chains are there no they are getting Give this man a rampage! It's a rampage for Al! <laughs> They focus on winning team fights, and I think what happened in the EG series more than anything is you kind of saw the weakness in C deck. C deck is that they were a little bit too afraid to go for anything, but Bone 7 is going to try to snipe the courier. It's not in range though. Oh, these are the next level strats that oh, we expect my. from Cloud9. Um, oh, it's he's gonna got get it. it! One more shot, Dad and down it goes! Bone 7 suicided the enemy oh, and he'll spend his gold. That combo, they're actually getting moved to speed that way. Nuts will jump in, he goes burning. And now Song of the Siren, Fade jumps over the isolate cave. KP again with Laguna Blade. It's a Song of the Siren, and Beauty's W and slide of it! The fucking wall! I gave! Oh my my! You're a who's burning as well! The Koreans are rampaging all over IG! Faith is in trouble! He'll try and break free, but it's just not possible! The M Spirit proving his worth! But Sumail continues to blink away from the low ground. Does decent damage. Bringing the tire three tower down. EG closing in on the opening racks here of your Lord Rank Finals. The Chow to goes in. Hook, then a fourth, but they set up on the Storm Spirit. Can they change them down? They get the water punch! See ya! There's the Laguna as well. A great call out from Tyler. Send the fire! Maybe! Racking on Bloodstone charges, holding the line. And now on the fear, he'll drop as well. LGD pulling out the miracle hold. 
No real follow-up for this. Hook shot. There's the counter initiate. He's found out Yao. Can Yao make his way out of this one? The lift from MOI can toss him back. They walrus punch him. Requiem's coming. No, not actually going to use it just yet. He gets thrown up in the air. He may be punished. Well, BKB does this. They curse him and hold him in place. And Deer does the work. Even through this BKB, he finally gets up the man. The oh, curse. Stole the steal. Momoya with the plays. Then the follow-up from Sylar. AUI will melt. It's a triple. Sylar turns it. BPD stands. M-M-Y! M-M-Y! Oh my god. He just sits bottom, everyone ignores him, they're busy dealing with other heroes and just keeps on farming. 900 gold, he even, he went for the second medallion, but now in the river, there is a bit of a fight breaking out. On the universe, the snowball will go, they have the walrus punch, holding universe in position, but he's tanky. Where's the follow-up stun to lift? They just get it off in the nick of my faithful. He still survives it as he holds away! Beat me up, Scotty, is the call from universe. And he'll make it out. Well, actually, Chicky turns into the Radiant Agent. Gonna get frost bitten up, but he doesn't really oh, care. Well, maybe he will. Here. He jumps down. Where's that mana void? It will actually end up killing up Ghana if they stand next to each other. The triple stun from Ghana! He brings down Jowie! There's your mana void to a Burrow Strike, but still Ghana. He is alive! They go over on Yao! Three heroes down! Ghana making the plays, and LGD biting the dust! It is going to be a Rapier Mokuo! Meanwhile, Song of the Siren is up, stopping the road down, mounting and they isolate Luo. He stunned up for the moment, into the call down. They already start with the finger of death and the spirit jump up. Kuo, one swipe, tries to get him and there she goes. He gets the first kill. Let's watch the rapier jump around and Chuan find him. They feel like a spirit Kuo. Oh, 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 he is just destroyed the soul of IG. Burning is gonna go, where is it? Give him the rampage! They refuse it! Follow pushing in by just the basic Greek wave side. Burning jumps in for the Hex, they start the static Link and Ferrari, a decent commitment, but down the call, down with the Viper Strike, Ferrari's gonna take it all, including the Rocket Barrage, down Dying for the count, who are too far up, and Puffy just walking forward, they're looking for extra ulties, in fact, in the entry thing, oh, and oh melt. my, not even melting, man, <laughs> their Tootsies are frozen. Yeah, EG are gonna know they're going for it, though. First of all, it would be pretty obvious from the lane situation, but they also have a good ward around the river area to see. CDC are moving in there now. I don't think EG are interested in contesting this 4 on 5, but maybe they can delay it long enough for it to be a 5 on 5 if they Ice Blast and Fissure properly. There is no hook shot. They're all together. PPD, here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the start! In from Yubus! It's a disaster! CDC! They're gonna get wiped from the face of the earth apart from Aggressive! They'll jump out for the Wombo Combo! Perfectly hits from Evil Geniuses! And now they will take Roshan! The mail is back, they'll get the Aegis of the Immortal! With that first Satanic, Chicky Dragon Ball not gets us an over on Fear. They're moving forward with the hooks on him, the Ice Blast! Perfect, I've seen it! They keep the battle going, so now might be low on mana. We need to keep controlling Fear CDC if they want to try and win this game. The Fear finds more. He's actually trapped under Curse, holding him here for now. DK will buy back and then drag him back the clockwork with a Fissure Stun. CDC are running out of heroes, aggressive. Wants to come out and find some kind of collateral kills. But EG are turning tail and running for now. Universe is ready to turn. He's an extra slam up. He just put his bleed. They're gonna come back. Call down aggressive. The call down. The perfect position. There's your record slam. Aggressive. Locked in position right now. He could embrace up by the way. The wire of a few moving forward as well. DK about to drop. Aggressive not all survivor. CDEC. It looks troublesome. It looks really, really bad for them. Aggressive on the run. Universe right behind him. They keep running out. But GG well played. EG are your TI5 champion. Here in Key Arena, they managed to do it. Third place in 2014. It looked rough dropping down the lower bracket. They had to play the best of three and the best of five today. But they have persevered. And they will claim the Aegis of the Immortal. They are the champions here in front of their home crowd. See the EC though. Fantastic doing it from them. They played all
champions of the international.